January 17, 1961. President Eisenhower warned the public of the impending threat posed by a disastrous rise of misplaced power involving the military-industrial complex. Three months later, President John F. Kennedy would make an address before the American Newspaper Publishers Association, emphasizing the need for a free and independent press, making it clear that censorship and the act of covering up mistakes is unacceptable especially in what's supposed to be a free and open society. Nevertheless, over 53 years later, it's clear that while some circumstances have changed, the same warnings still very much apply. The unfortunate and honest truth is that the very censorship and misplaced power the citizens were warned about 53 years ago, we're seeing occur today in the present. When the warnings of the past are ignored, history is doomed to repeat itself. We now face a dilemma unfamiliar to any previous human civilization. We face this dilemma not simply as a community, nor a nation, rather collectively as a planet. We have something no previous generation has ever had. The Internet, this year you are invited to stand against censorship and tyranny. Millions will unite around the globe on the 5th of November to make their voices heard and let the various governments of the world know that they'll never stop the free flow of information. The Internet is one of the last truly free vessels that we the citizens have access to. We've stood as one against SOPA, PIPA, CISPA, ACTA, and the TPP. We'll continue to stand as one against Internet censorship. Op November 5, 2014 will take place in over 150 cities worldwide. The outcome relies on you. We are anonymous, we are legion, we can forgive, though we shall never forget. Expect us.